hello beautiful people welcome once again to the channel thank you so much for clicking thank you for stopping by yes today i'm going somewhere okay i want to go and try two foods okay and actually one of them is my will i say customer something like i used to go and eat there you know sometimes but it's been longer even went there so i want to try two malaysian foods today and we'll see which one is actually the best okay for me or for my preference okay i know when it comes to food issue there could be fight sometimes, isn't it? So anyways, no need to fight. <laughs> it's just my own preference I'm talking of, okay? There's something called preference. So I want to go and try. Uh, actually, the foods I'm trying today is nasi kukus and nasi lemak. I don't even know if you guys are seeing me. It's like this cap is blocking the view, right? I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, I'll be trying nasi kukus and nasi lemak. And the funny thing is that two of them are actually neighbors, okay? So yeah, let's go and show some love. If you are new to the channel, this is Happy Family. Make sure you subscribe and join our family. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I love you guys so, so much. You are the reason why this channel is still up at this time. Okay, thank you very much. Anyways, let's go. It's a beautiful afternoon here. The sun is not really much today. I think the weather these days is quite good in Malaysia. I don't know. But anyways, catch you guys at the restaurant. Hey, my friend, come and explore with Bolu. I love you okay guys so i'm here now actually but um unfortunately the nasle mark person is not around okay the nasle mark fellow is not around so i think i just have to enjoy myself with what i have so yes she's making it very very graciously let me see what's going on there yes this chicken is one thing i like so very much okay so i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to eat nasle mark here now because this area I tried to ask, I said there's no Nasle Mark nearby there, except I go to another far place. I wanted to just eat the two of them together, so yeah. Let's see, I'll just talk one or two things about Nasle Mark since I've tried it before already. So yes, you guys should let me know what you think. Big one, big one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, whoa. Then um, I want um, sun quick. Okay. Yes, ice. Okay. So, yes. Ah. But should I eat inside? Those ones are selling their own normal stuff. I don't know what they are selling there. Let me go and check. Okay, guys. So this is Nasi Kukus. Unfortunately, Nasi Lemak is not available today. The people that used to sell Nasi Lemak, they are closed already. So I'm just going to talk about it. But yeah, this is Nasi Kukus, as you can see, very graciously with the chicken and the rice, the sauce. Okay. What makes it really, really great, the gravy. And then you have all those cucumber and... Yeah, it's just a simple food and I'm having it with this uh, sun quick drink. It's like an orange juice, okay? So, yes, let's go right away and review this food once again and I'll tell you guys some stories. So, yes, I've already showed you guys the food I'll be trying, nasi kukus. I know many of you know this food already, right? Very, very delicious and tantalizing. And then, yeah, I've already showed you the front part of the food. So, let's eat now. Actually, guys, this video was supposed to be a comparison between Nasi Lemak and Nasi Kukus. But unfortunately, the Nasi Lemak fellow is not around. Like, they have already closed for the day. So I'm like, okay, let me just eat Nasi Kukus. And there's no Nasi Lemak nearby here. I wanted to, like, compare together because they were very close to each other. So, but I will tell you some things about Nasi Lemak because I've eaten it a couple of times as well. Then you guys will make the video interactive by telling me which one is your favorite also. Nasi Kukus or Nasi Lemak. Mm. Mm. I'm not supposed to talk because this food has some spices. I asked for one and a half. Yeah, normally the, the rice will just be like this, this cube. I hope it doesn't break. Yeah. But like I asked for one and a half, that's why I have some extra one down there. So actually, Nasi Kukus, I fell in love with Nasi Kukus, like, just like that, guys. Love at first sight. <laughs> but the thing is that Nasi Lemak is very hyped, like, very hyped in Malaysia. Like, the first time I came to Malaysia, the first question, the first taxi driver, or I think um, Uber that time, asked me was what? Have you tried Nasi Lemak before? And I'm like, really? I don't know if it's over hyped, basically. You guys should let me know. But I know it's their national food in Malaysia and all that, but yeah, but like, is it really my best? Like, is it really worth the hyping? 
Anyways. Mm. But the good thing with Nasty Lemak is that it's balanced. Okay, it has the like everything, peanuts and fish, all those kind of things. And yeah, it represents their Malaysian culture and everybody eats it basically. But me, the first day I tried Nasty Kukus, guys. Hmm. I actually tried Nasty Lemak before trying Nasty Kukus. So I was like, oh, it's very nice, very great. And yeah, it was actually very nice to me, genuinely. But when I was introduced to Nasi Kukus, it seems the story changed for me. <laughs> you guys know, right? By the way, what do you think is my favorite food in Malaysia? From my videos you have been seeing so far, let me know in the comment section below. I got introduced to Nasi Kukus after trying Nasi Lemak for a number of times. And I will tell you guys the truth, like, I fell in love with Nasi Kukus. Love at first sight. It was just so different and so unique. And another thing with Nasi Kukus, let me, let me tell you, like, it could be very embarrassing if you don't get it in a very good place. Like, if the people cannot prepare it very well, then you may not enjoy it. But, like, the ones I've been getting, like, it's just so, so, so delicious. You understand? So nice. Although I've gotten one like that that I don't really like like that. Because the, the sauce of nasi kukus, that's where the main thing is. You understand? It's still the normal rice and all that. But the sauce and all those gravy, that is the main thing that defines the food. So, if they don't prepare it very well, you may not enjoy it. You understand? But if you get where they prepare nasi kukus very well, I'm telling you guys, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to thank me later. But when you come to the aspect of the richness of the food, then I may think nasi lemak may pass because I think nasi lemak is made with a coconut milk, right? I'm not sure this one is made with coconut milk. Is this rice made with coconut milk? Do you make this rice, this rice with coconut milk? No. Okay. Okay, nasi kukus no. Only nasi lemak. Okay. So yeah, so I'll just ask the, the people that are cooking here. So actually nasi kukus is not made with coconut milk, you see? So I think the coconut milk in nasi lemak makes it very uh, kind of special, you understand? And maybe unique somehow. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. But me, I don't know. I just fall in love with nasi kukus. I don't even know. I don't have explanation for it though. Hmm. Time to eat, guys. But there are other foods as well. Nasi karabu, nasi daging, zi dagang, dagang. We have the normal fried rice, nasi goreng. So many, guys. Nasi tomato. Mm. I can mention like 10 nasis, you understand? <laughs> but I think I've forgotten some of them now. There are different var varieties of rice specialties in Malaysia. Yeah. And they all have unique tastes. Basically, the gravy, the, the, the method of cooking it, these are the things that actually makes it unique from each other. So I'm sorry I couldn't get Nasi Lemak in this video for you guys, but I will go to the hub of Nasi Lemak in one of my videos and try it again for you guys. Probably somewhere I've not tried before. And let's see how I appreciate it. But I appreciate Nasi Lemak. Oh. I appreciate nasi lemak, don't get me wrong. And, but I appreciate nasi kukus somehow more. I don't really know why, like, who, who can really guess why I, maybe I like nasi kukus more than nasi lemak? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you like me? Which one is your favorite, nasi kukus or nasi lemak? Ah, oh, this is so refreshing. And if none is your favorite, then what is your own best? Or favorite Malaysian dish or if you have not come to Malaysia before but you are seeing all the different food which one do you think like entices you the most that you would love to try let us know in the comment section below the year has come to an end I think you're gonna be seeing this video on the last day of the year or one day to the last day so I hope next year is gonna be more beautiful more promising what you need to do is to what make sure you are determined okay avoid procrastination and keep to your set goals and at the end of the day we will all have a reason to appreciate and celebrate i like the fact that most of the food in malaysia they actually try to balance it they put some vegetables there for you you know some spices some herbs so i think 
pretty good Malaysian foods are actually healthy. Not all, definitely. It's not possible for me not to finish this food like. <laughs> Can you see the plate? When I say something is my favorite, I mean it. I say cuckoos. Ah, you can't joke with me and I say cuckoos. It's not possible. No grain should be left. Ah, this gravy is so good, guys. Mm. You see? I finished it graciously. So yes, guys, we are done with this food. By the way, I know that Ipo is a very good place for food hunting. And many of you have advised me to go to Ipo and all that. Okay, the reason why I've not gone to Ipo yet actually is because of my visa, okay? I'm renewing my visa currently and if I travel, you know, I may need to like just rush back and all those kind of things. So I've not submitted my passport yet, so I'm waiting. I also renewed my passport. I've gotten it already. So I'm trying to renew the visa right now. So once my visa is renewed, then I'll be free to travel again, okay? So hopefully, maybe in one week or two weeks, I don't know how fast it will be, or three weeks time, I don't know. Maybe my visa will be ready, and then I can be able to travel to Ipo and any other place you advise me. I'm also thinking of going to Kedah. Do you guys think I should go to Kedah? Let me know if you're from Kedah here, or you recommend Kedah as well. Let me know in the comment section below. I want to go to new places like I want to explore more. I want to spend in my holidays, my free times, you know, leisure times in other parts of Malaysia so that we can see new things and explore new things all around Malaysia. Anyways, this food is delicious, especially this particular one in Umi Nasi Kukus, PJ. Please come here and try their Nasi Kukus. Your life never remain the same again. They also do ordering and all that. Nasi Lema versus Nasi Kukus. Which one do I prefer more? I think I like both of them, but I prefer Nasi Kukus more than Nasi Lema. What about you? Let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I'll be going out. Much love and God bless you. Be positive, be simple and be sincere. Don't let anybody see your joy, guys. And have a beautiful new year ahead. Much love and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, guys, so if you want to come to this restaurant, I just finished eating. The name is Umi Nasi Kukus PJ, okay? Umi Nasi Kukus PJ, and you can contact them right there, okay? Please make sure you contact them. Tell them you are coming from Bolu if you have not eaten here before. <laughs>